Let's have a reef diary. So this happened today after I was done with the live stream. They is school fish. They located in the, the state of Texas. And they're bringing to you this guy is the male by Maculatus antheus. Beautiful. Yeah. And you've had it for two months. Yeah. It's super healthy. Yeah. Like you said, it's even gotten bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the female. The Yay. I cannot wait to put these in my, well, we're going to put them in the tank right now. So we're going to yeah. start floating them and they don't even need quarantine because you have been quarantining them for two, two months. months. Yes. Yeah. They are completely safe. Yeah. That's awesome. And thank you for bringing them to my I door. Pretty fish. Nice. <laughs> All right. And we got the net in case I need it again. Let me hold it back. Okay, I'm gonna try this with my hand again. Keep the net ready. Okay. Yep, I'm putting them in there. Oh my God. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, he chased her the wrong way. Yeah. I was hoping they'd chase her to this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> totally different from the other Esquampinus. Yeah. It's got that pink belly. Aw, they're so pretty together. While I'm letting this fish food thaw out, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a new batch of magnesium pronto for my reef. I've been using this magnesium additive for, I don't even know, three years probably. And it's super easy for me because this container holds 120 ounces of water. It takes 10 tablespoons. If you're doing the math, it's one tablespoon per 12 ounces. So I left it on this magnetic stirrer that I got recently from my friend Chris and it just spins and spins with a huge mixing bead. And I let it run on there for about five to 10 minutes until it was essentially clear. So, I mean, that's so much nicer than stirring it with a wooden spoon, right? And uh, who doesn't like gizmos? Because this jug isn't smooth on the bottom, the bead made a lot of noise. If I had a perfectly flat container, I bet it would mix quietly. So this is ready to go connected to my reef at this point. I just hook it up to a dosing pump. It trickles in 90 milliliters a day. And that's it for today's Reef Diary. I hope you enjoyed it.